Yun So, tell us about how, how to wire up the controller here. All right. So starting from power, we get the original source. Wire is white, mm -hmm. and there is the terminal down here, and that is, that is the main source. As you can see from this terminal, we have... That's a switch, so look on the oh, bottom. Yes. That's the on-off switch right there. Mm -hmm. You can change the action of this terminal on off uh -huh. with this switch above the white connects to the original source of course and there's the green wire that connects to a fuse here uh -huh. and into this terminal which is the positive terminal yep the positive terminal CB controller box and one lead from this terminal positive terminal goes down here to power into the solenoids yes and the solenoids I just forgot to mention this one but the power to the solenoids is connected only once and then we jumper it like the power connects there we jumper it to there and I think we jumper it down to those those terminals is, is that, does that make sense yes yes yeah yep so and you jumper here, that and then it goes goes, here, goes around and then and there. you jumper it again uh-huh yeah yep. okay. so we're using that one single wire to do the positive and we're actually controlling these solenoids through the negative terminal yes yeah okay okay and then the the ground terminal is connected to this black wire, that's the original ground source, uh -huh. into here. Mm -hmm. There are two LEDs that come out, out of this terminal. One goes directly to the Arduino breakout board, and the mm -hmm. another ground wire connects down to the switch. Yeah, to the switch. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's it for power. Uh -huh. And now the Arduino breakout board connects directly onto the Arduino microcontroller board. Uh -huh. And so does and then the PWM driver board connects directly onto the breakout board. So yep. it's like a sandwiching type Sandwich of sandwich. Sandwich piggybacks all onto each other through yep. those. Mm -hmm. So that's simple. And mm -hmm. then we have uh, the ground a ground wire from the Arduino breakout board here into the PWM driver. Uh-huh. PWM driver ground, which is on the left hand side there. Yep. Uh -huh. And then we have a uh, power that went for previously, as discussed, went from this terminal up into the breakout board. Now there's another wire that rides on that power supply and connects to the PWM driver here. Yep. So that's okay. the power to, into the solenoid driver. Yes. Okay. Now discussing the PWM dr uh, driver uh, output terminals, you can see it is the wires are labeled by the dots one, two, three, four, five. And the, this one is one, two, three, four. So essentially, uh, labeled by the dots, you can note that it, the wires are five, four, three, two, one, top to bottom, descending. Descending, and then the bottom is where the power terminal is. Yes. So that's the number one terminal is by the power terminal. Yep. Uh, and these go down and connect to the solenoids. Mm -hmm. uh, one, trailing the wire, goes into the well the, the, third, the, third, the valve. third valve and because the this third valve is uh the shaker motor powering the shaker motor there is only one terminal required here exactly and for the second round second wire from the PW driver output terminal we mm -hmm. can see that it rides directly to the top solenoid of mm -hmm. uh, that's the brown wire the second solenoid valve yes yep Number three is yellow, and it goes to the bottom solenoid of the second solenoid valve. Uh-huh. Uh, then four, this is four, and it is red, trailing this wire. Mm -hmm. It goes to the bottom solenoid of the mm -hmm. first solenoid valve. And mm -hmm. finally, five, that is five. Mm-hmm. It goes to the top solenoid of the first solenoid valve. Yeah, five is the black red yes. one. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. Anything else? And then finally, the sensor wires. Oh yes. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So, if you have, actually, could you could you provide clarification on the sensor wires too? Okay, let's talk about the sensor wires. Sure. 